Welcome to Steve's World UK. Today I'm in Orlando in Florida. So today, SeaWorld Orlando is part of my world. So I'm here once again at SeaWorld Orlando, here to check out all the animal attractions. Now if you want to see the shows featuring the orcas, the sea lions or the dolphins, check out the SeaWorld playlist on the main channel. So come with me and let's take a look. So I'm currently here at the main entrance right in front of the main gift shop. Now over to the left hand side you have guest services and also a booking point where you can book all your animal encounters or you can use the SeaWorld app. I've also got a map of the park and a full detailed list of all the shows featuring the orcas, the dolphins, the sea lions and so much more. So with just a few minutes to go we're greeted at the entrance with the Caribbean flamingos in all their glory. Less of a colour but still as impressive here are the white pelicans. So it's not just animal encounters that feature here at SeaWorld, there is also a selection of roller coasters to suit the thrill seekers and believe it or not, if you're a fantasist, a meet and greet with a mermaid. Up next is Stingray Lagoon. Now on a side note, this was one of many areas from SeaWorld Orlando that featured in the film Jaws 3. This particular location was used when the baby great white shark was captured inside the park and put on display. Fast forward to today, you can now purchase food and get up close and personal and feed these magnificent stingrays. If you arrive early enough at the park, they are then treated to the American National Anthem blaring out from every corner. Feel free to sing along if you know the words. Moving from Key West and with the opening ceremony complete, I'm now heading to Dolphin Cove, where you can get up close and personal, make your reservation and check in for the Dolphin Encounter. Time to cue that reggae music.
At the time of filming, it is worth noting that it is Halloween, so all over the park there are many photo opportunities so you too can take part in SeaWorld's Halloween Spectacular. So remaining in Key West, we've seen the dolphins up close above the water. It's now time to go in and experience the dolphins underwater viewing area. So just going to leave the sea life alone for a moment while I check out this pumpkin patch area that features exclusively as a Halloween story time telling area. Not quite as entertaining as the orcas or dolphins, but still just as majestic are the manatees in this manatee rehabilitation centre, also known as sea cows.
They're so cute. Careful. Uh 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 uh. Get in. In. You want it? It wasn't my fault. In fact, they don't have their bikes grounded. That's so good. So I'm guessing that this area becomes one of the trick or treat areas once night comes so it's a good job it's daylight as I head towards and through this spooky forest heading towards Journey of Atlantis and Antarctica. To just stop and to take a look at Journey to Atlantis, which is one of two water rides here at the park. Now, this is a cross between a roller coaster and a water ride, but trust me, you do get wet. Now believe it or not, even in this searing heat, I found my way to Antarctica, where we're here for Empire of the Penguin. that place was cold. Heading to warmer climates now for the sea lion and otters at Pacific Point Preserve. Now you can probably hear these sea lions in the background already because trust me they are very loud.
questions that we have. And if you all have any questions that you guys would like to have answered, I will do my best to answer any of those questions as well. So feel free to come over. Thank you. It's great to silver and color. And they have tan This is the SeaWorld Sky Tower where for an additional $5 you can get a ride up to the top and get an exceptional view of the rest of the park. Now I'm here to check out all the animal encounters here at SeaWorld, but if you're a thrill seeker, there are numerous number of roller coasters to suit everyone's taste to get the pulses racing. This is Icebreaker, the newest addition to SeaWorld. The second water ride here at SeaWorld is Infinity Falls, which is a wild water rapid ride. Now just a reminder, you are going to get wet, so trust me, lock everything away, whatever you can. Shoes, socks, pets, family members, anything you can. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on great future content from Steve's World UK. Until next time, be safe, be good, be kind and be careful. It takes 24 hours for the world to turn once, but only two seconds to like or subscribe to see great future content from Steve's World UK.